Welcome back to News Channel 9 at 6. Finding a parking spot downtown can really put a damper on a night out or a quick business lunch. But one UTC graduate has come up with a way to work around that irritating exploration. Latricia Thomas joins us now to show it how it all works. Well, we've all been through the circling and hunting to find that perfect space. But if a new app gets enough support, it could eliminate the need to search for a spot. Chattanooga has a lot to offer downtown, but finding a place to park to enjoy it all just gave me headaches every single day. But Chandler Burke says the searching, the circling, the race to the next open spot doesn't have to be a part of your commute. So I thought if I had an app that would show me where available parking was located, that I could save myself a whole lot of time and probably make it to class on time a lot more often. So Park Parrot was born, initially an idea for a UTC business class, and now a parking prototype that's dependent on Kickstarter to make it to the beta testing phase. And so I I wanted a way to be able to drive directly to an open space instead of, you know, going on a wild goose chase. It took five months to write the code that uses this device. These are ultrasonic sort of acoustic sensors and what these do is they send constant and audible uh, vibrations through the air. If it bounces back within a certain time frame, it recognizes that something's there. So when a car pulls in, the node sends a signal to the lot master, which communicates with Park Parrot's online server. Direct. Once the app realizes the space is taken, it updates the information in your smartphone, turning the space from green to red. You type in your future destination and we'll say 10 minutes out, there's a parking space open here. Five minutes out, there's a parking space open here. So we're going to show you the nearest available spot so you don't have to search at all. And it's that lack of a search that Chandler hopes will one day make the park parrot part of your parking plan. It's mainly a time saver. You don't drive around. It's a money saver and the gas that you don't spend. And most of all, like for me, it was a headache saver because instead of driving around and just, you know, knowing that you're late for something already, now Park Parrot still has a long way to go on their Kickstarter campaign so they can get to the beta testing phase. If you're interested, there's a link at newschannel9.com slash made in our hometown. And coming up next week, a landmark day in Chattanooga. We were there as the first legally distilled spirit came out of the still at Chattanooga Whiskey ahead of their grand opening next week. On Friday, we will take you through this process that has not been done here in the scenic city for 100 years.